टुडे वी हैव अ पेशेंट विद अस हु हैपेंस टू बी अ नोन केस ऑफ हाइपरटेंशन डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस सीकेडी एंड ही हैज पास हिस्ट्री ऑफ मल्टीपल एडमिशंस फॉर एक्सेलरेटेड हाइपरटेंशन पल्मोनरी एडिमा ही अंडरवेंट कॉर्नरी एंजियोग्राफी अराउंड टू एंड अ हाफ इयर्स बैक फॉर एक्यूट कॉर्नरी सिंड्रोम एट दैट टाइम एल सी एक्स वॉज टोटली ब्लॉक देर वॉज सीवियर डिजीज इन एल ई डी आर सी हैज माइल्ड डिजीज पेशेंट अंडर वेंट पी टी सी ए टू एल ई डी एट दैट टाइम दैट इज मोर देन टू ईयर्स बैक ही वॉज डूइंग फाइन डिड नॉट हैव एनी एंजाइना लास्ट टाइम वेन ही हैड एनजियो प्लास्टी ही हैड टू अंडर गो टू सेशन्स ऑफ हीमोडायलिसिस इन पास टू एंड हाफ ईयर्स ही हैज बीन एडमिटेड थ्री टाइम्स एंड हैड अंडर गॉन डायलिसिस Uh, on three uh, three settings of dialysis and an admission when he was also on ventilator but uh, he made out well and now uh, he presented to us with complaint of chest pain for past two months uh, in view of his past history uh, a coronary angiogram was done with low amount of contrast around 20 ml which revealed critical disease just proximal to the led strand and uh, lcx was totally blocked rc diseases almost similar to the earlier so today we are plan taking him up for a uh, ultra low contrast or zero contrast pci so we have uh, taken femoral axis we have put two wires one in uh, the lcx or ramus and one is the led and now we are taking up the ivs run so this is philips intrasite system with an hd catheter fix so here we are taking this uh ivs catheter into the led for pre run let us see whether it makes uh way across the stenosis or not otherwise we'll need to pre dilate it before the ivs run so our l6 wire will serve as a uh marker for proximal edge of the stent deployment yeah so we are through and uh, now let us just show me the ivs images please yeah so uh, we are almost at the distal uh, edge of the stent which was uh, deployed previously start the pull back so that is a well expanded stent there is no significant stenosis at this point as we move proximally we find uh, some calcium at around 3 o'clock position so now this is this uh, most critical point of the stenosis which is just at the uh, edge of the old stent and now we move towards the lcx bifurcation this is the bifurcation point and now we are into the left main left main is quite free of the disease stop pull back take it out और ऊपर चलिए थोड़ा सा ओके चलो Go up, go up. Bus, that's it. Uh, stop it here. So maybe we, it is coming close to around 11-12 mm, and the diameter is one, two, three, three and a half, three, three point five. So we will uh, uh, we plan to first do a cutting balloon dilatation, followed by a NC, and then finally a three point five, 12 or 13 mm stent from Austral LED. ठीक है सो वी हैव टेकन अ बूस्ट सो वी कैन सी दैट वी आर ऑलरेडी थ्रू द प्रॉक्सिमल पोर्शन ऑफ दिस स्टेंट प्लीज डायलेट सो दिस इज अ कटिंग बाय लोन गो अप टू एट नाइन टेन ओके दी फ्लेट वी मूव टू द ऑस्टिया Uh, and the uh, wire into the lcx serves as a landmark for us please dilate 
Yes. Okay. Deflate please. So as we dilated the pressure went down because if you see uh, since LCX is almost totally blocked so most of the perfusion on left side is through LED so on occlusion of LED the pressure went down and now it is picking up so now this NC goes smoothly we found some resistance while putting the cutting but uh, with NC there is no resistance dilate Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Deflate. Inflate. Deflate. Okay. Store. So this is 3.5 mm stent that we are taking. So here it comes. Now as we can see we have placed it at the ostia and uh, boost please. Deploy. So, how much? 10? Okay. Deflate. So, we have deployed a 3.5 mm stent right from the ostia. And, uh, show me boost, please. In boost, we can see that it is placed right at the ostia. So, that's good placement. We'll check with the IVAS also. Okay, so start imaging, pull back, so this is the old stent which is very well deployed actually, there is no significant stenosis in this part, of. now we are uh, moving towards the overlap segment, here we see two layers of a stent and uh, so it has achieved a size of 3 in overlap segment and 3.5 in non overlap segment and as we move forward we can see the bifurcation coming up so struts are exactly up to the bifurcation site so that is uh, considerably a good placement and uh, there is no overhang over towards the LCS or ramus please we can do a 3.5 mm NC distally uh, inflate 12. Deflate. Eh? Ah, yes, austere. Inflate. Fifteen, sixteen. Deflate. Ah, okay. So we are taking the final run now. Start pullback. So over leg, yes. And uh, here we come towards the ostia. We can see L six coming up now, and into the left main. So okay, so there is some some disease in left main, but we are not targeting that. Uh, Okay. So it is not uncommon to have patients who have uh, abnormal renal functions, especially uh, in elderly patients and those who have long term diabetes and hypertension. And uh, uh, giving contrast to such patients is always a concern, especially those who are not on dialysis and have some moderate renal function or uh, like creatinine somewhere between 2 or 3. 
and such patients can end up having lifelong dialysis with contrast so uh, i was guided zero contrast pci or ultra low pci gives us now an option uh, to tackle such patients uh, with uh, almost negligible risk for worsening renal function